just fed all the Theraphosa slings, the Apophysis and the Theraphosa Blondie. And then also the GBBs. We have got some enclosures for you, 10 enclosures over here with some cocoa fiber, some plants and dried leaves. So these, we will be rehousing the GBB slings once they have finished eating their worm because yeah, these enclosures, they are starting to get a little bit too small for them, although it's quite the right size, but they're going to outgrow it very soon. So I'm going to rehouse them into there and let them settle in because that can actually be their second last home. So from here to there. But today's video is not about that because we're going to have to wait for them to finish eating. Today, we are going to do something that I've wanted to do for quite some time. So you guys know that this table i keep all my some of my teas on here however there are parts of this this table where i'm not sure why but you see these these wooden parts you can actually rub them off you see so i'm not sure what the reason the cause of that is over here is fine right it's fine over here only they just started flaking off for some reason even up here you see starting to slowly flake off so i thought that i could maybe get some clear clear acrylic coat thing and just spray here but then i was thinking that may harm the tarantulas because you know the fumes the smell not very good and then i thought of using some car clear coat you guys know that the one where your car is painted and then they spray a clear coat on it well I have that as well, but then I thought, hmm, I'm kind of lazy to mix because mine, the one that I had, I got to mix it like one part to five parts or something like that. So the easiest option for me over here is this. It is glue, right? Regular old uh, household school glue. So I'm going to pour some over here, show you guys. So it's basically clear glue, just like that clear paper glue yep very familiar okay so now I'm just gonna use a paintbrush all right dip it in the glue and just paint over it and in hopes that the flaking won't happen again because I am putting a layer of glue to protect the flakiness so I don't know how long that will last I'm just going to do it because it could get worse and it will definitely get worse. So I'm just going to be painting on glue because why not, right? Because I can and I think it should help. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this will help? I'm just going to put a generous amount of glue so that it'll... Well, I'm just going to... I'm just going to do one coat, a single coat, just like this. And hopefully, oh man, it's starting to flake a little bit over on this side too. You see? So the glue hopefully will strengthen the bond between the, the so-called wood flakes. It's pretty much, I guess, just painted on. And whatever is at the back here, the, the gray part. So this is what we're going to be doing. I think it should help. Just the thing is, is that I should not touch water over here. When I water my teas, just got to hope water does not touch that area. Yeah, I'm just going to... I think this is the, the easiest solution. Is here coming out too? I'm not even sure, man. Just going to brush it on. But the worst is over here so i'm not even sure actually if this is going to work i think it'll work the only thing that's going to just do like spoil this entire thing is if it touches water but the good thing is it does not harm the tarantula and it's water-based so if i don't want it in the future i can just apply some water on a cloth and just wipe the glue away but yeah I think it should work. Okay, so I think that should be it for now. I'm just gonna leave it leave it to dry and we should be good to go. It's 
just rub off the excess on the top and yeah all part of the maintenance of this room i guess <laughs>